All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about something just absolutely insane, like something just completely mind boggling. It's almost like some sort of AI generated sentence when you see a headline like this, man. But we are going to today be talking about a danger YouTuber, I guess is the best way to put it, who has now been captured by the Taliban after going back to Afghanistan. I, I don't even really know how to fully explain this in a way to really summarize it right off the jump, right? I mean, yeah, basically a British YouTuber has been captured by the Taliban after going back to Afghanistan, uh, back to Afghanistan, by the way, uh, for the sake of what, uh, who, who really knows? So basically this is all surrounding a creator by the name of Lord Miles, okay? He is a 23 year old YouTuber who, according to the article we're about to take a look at here, quote, goes to the most dangerous places on earth for fun. Three UK nationals are being held in Taliban custody, among them an infamous 23-year-old YouTuber who, quote, goes to the most dangerous places on earth for fun, according to a humanitarian NGO which released details of the men's detention over the weekend. Miles Rutledge, otherwise known by the online moniker Lord Miles, attracted global notoriety in 2021 when he took a holiday to Afghanistan shortly before the Taliban takeover. He was subsequently airlifted out of the country by the British Army during the fall of Kabul in August of that year, securing a highly sought after seat on an evacuation flight while thousands of Afghans who had worked alongside Western coalition forces were left behind. So to basically explain this to you, uh, this guy, I guess, makes YouTube content where he goes around to dangerous ass places and does like really ridiculous and ludicrous things, I guess for the lulls of it. I don't know, just to fucking have fun, I guess. But yeah, he is now captured by the Taliban who are known to be really, really awesome people, right? You know, uh, when, when I think of like all the times I like where I could go, right? Uh, I want to go on a summer holiday, right? A little vacation. Where would I want to go? Fuck it. Let's go kick it with the Taliban out in the Middle East. Like I never once has crossed my mind, but apparently it makes for some goddamn good YouTube content because this guy's been back now. Okay. So yeah, he went on a vacation back in 2021 to Afghanistan right before the Taliban took the country back over and he ended up having to be airlifted out of the country by the British army. Now, if you don't know anything about the airlifts that took place in Afghanistan, Afghanistan. It was like a run for your life kind of situation, right? There were thousands of people in Afghanistan who had helped United States coalition forces throughout the invasion and the war in Afghanistan. And obviously they fought the Taliban. And what do you think the Taliban's going to do to thousands of people that they capture who they now know have been working with Western coalition forces? Well, these people were left behind. So people like our boy here, Miles, could get his ass parked on a plane so he could come back to the West and enjoy the life that we have here, right? There, if you don't know anything, Thing. Once again, there were people hanging off of the wheels of airplanes as they took off in the hopes that they could hang on for dear life all the way back to the United States. Just for that sliver, that modicum opportunity, that modicum of hope that they could get a better life than what they would have in a Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. These people fell to their deaths and splattered against the airport pavements. People were killed, you know, like this was serious. And they did that in the hopes of getting a better life. But instead, you know, this guy got back on a plane just so he could go back to the Taliban controlled country that he fled in the first place for the fucking YouTube content or whatever, right? So Rutledge posted videos and updates to Facebook and 4chan at the time and later returned to uh, Afghanistan where he filmed YouTube videos in which he joined a Taliban parade and fired guns with Taliban militants. The notorious YouTuber and self-styled dark tourist has more than 150,000 followers on Twitter. His last activity on the platform was on February 28th. He is now one of three men being held by Taliban secret police along with 53-year-old charity medic Kevin Cornwell and another unidentified UK national who manages a hotel in Kabul. According to Sky News, both Cornwell and the unnamed hotlier, or hotelier I should say, uh, were arrested in a raid by officers from the Taliban's General Directorate of Intelligence on January 11th after Taliban agents accused Cornwell of having an illegal firearm in a safe in his room at the Darya Village Hotel. The reasons for Rutledge's arrest are yet unclear. Uh, Basically, a senior European diplomatic source told The Telegraph that he was arrested on March 2nd, along with two Polish nationals and is being held for questioning. Scott Richards, a negotiator who works with British humanitarian NGO The Presidium Network and is in supporting the families of Cornwell and the hotel manager, told Sky News that while there has, quote, been no meaningful contact with the men he believes they're safe, Quote, we do believe they're in good health and being well treated, Richard said. We have no reason to believe they've been subject to any sort of any negative treatment, such as torture, and we're told that they are good as can be expected in such circumstances. Now keep in mind, for you to believe that these men are completely safe and sound and healthy and, and being taken care of, 
that means you kind of have to believe the fucking Taliban. Now, I'm going to be real with you, right? If there's like, I, I would say a million people I could like say are the most trustworthy people on the planet, I would think like the Taliban probably aren't even in like the top 400 billion, right? Who the fuck is like, yeah, I think I'm just going to trust the Taliban. Hopefully they don't hurt those UK nationals. Now, in all reality, I would imagine that the Taliban wouldn't want to hurt these guys because I mean, if they're just like fucking up a bunch of Westerners, that might get like, you know, the UK and US's attention back on them. And I don't think they want that again. I think they're just trying to keep control of Afghanistan now and just fucking chill out. But, and by chill out, I mean, they're banning like women from going to the same restaurants and shit and like crazy, just outlandish, ridiculous things. But I don't know, man, like, uh, I get it, right? Like people are allowed to do whatever they want, right? Like I'm, I'm not in, I would say like disagreeance with traveling to places, right? Like if you really want to go to Afghanistan and you want to experience the life there and like take that opportunity, I really don't even have a huge problem with that. But when you're taking back priority seats, uh, when this country is falling apart, that could have went to people who later probably died just for you to go back and treat it like it's some sort of like big fucking game or something. I don't know. I really don't think that's very cool, man. I don't think that's, I don't think that's like a haha -ha funny dope moment. I mean, the Taliban is no joke, man. And I know like this article makes it sound like he's having a fucking blast with him, right? Like, oh, he's out there shooting rifles with him in a fucking big parade. I don't think that's really a good thing, bro. Like, I don't think that's like fire. You know what I mean? I don't think you want to be posted up with the Taliban fucking shooting AKs in the desert. Like, that's not really the ideal outcome, I feel like. And I mean, let's be real here, the Taliban, you know, do they really view this guy as like a, you know, an all right dude, you know what I mean? Like, you really think the Taliban's sitting around like, hey, this dude's kind of fucking dope, I love this British ass motherfucker over here. No, they're sitting there thinking like, uh, so what exactly do we do with him now? Like, these are not safe people to be around, like, you don't want to just be cooling it with the fucking Taliban, man, like, now, obviously, this is one of these types of situations where, you know, the reaction can be very split. Now, a lot of people are gonna find this, like, fucking hilarious you know you're gonna think he's like some sort of g for this but there's also gonna be people who like just kind of genuinely wish for the worst for him like some people online you know they've been hyping it up like oh you know miles is doing this it's funny you know some people are saying he's helped humanize the taliban in the west with his content and you know they've been calling for the taliban to free him and then other people are like oh he's a fucking idiot he gets what he deserves you know they're gonna kill him and he deserves it I'm gonna be real, like, I don't wanna sit here and say, like, this guy deserves to be killed by the Taliban or hurt by somebody, you know? I get that most people would view what he's doing as completely fucking, like, ludicrous and ignorant, but at the end of the day, like, this is a human being, and, you know, he is doing something that's definitely very fucking dangerous, but I would feel wrong sitting here saying, like, oh, I hope something bad happens to him. Like, in all reality, man, I do hope the Taliban are telling the truth, and they are treating these guys good, because there's rumors circling that there's a couple different reasons maybe why he's being held one of the more popular ones i've been seeing online uh reasons is he is being suspected of actually being a spy along with some other people that they have detained obviously i'm gonna be real with you here i don't think lord miles is a spy i i, I don't think he's a western agent trying to infiltrate the taliban but i mean to be honest like when you see this fucking dude from the uk or whatever come back with a camera like yo let's film some youtube content i mean you, could you really blame him for being like hey this guy might be a fucking spy i don't really know but like like, the whole situation's just insane, and, like, I don't want to sit here and, you know, hope bad on this guy or anyone else in their control, because the Taliban are some ruthless motherfuckers sometimes. Like, they really will get down like that. They don't fucking play around. Like, yeah, he might be shooting rifles with them in formation one day, and he could be, you know, on their bad side the next day. So, anyway, with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. You're your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about the Lord Miles Taliban situation and signing out.